OK, we'll discuss building a um, side compartment now. If we look at this sketch here, it's a bird's eye view, if you like, of the vessel. And we've been bilged here on this side. So it's a, a cross section of midships, a transverse cross section. And you can see that B and F, our original positions, buoyancy and centre of flotation, have moved to new positions. B has moved to B1. And it's the, if you like, the centroid of the new underwater volume. And F1 is the centroid of the intact new water plane area, because this has been bilged. So GX equals both these values here. So if we look at this triangle, M standing for metacenter, then tan theta equals gx over gm, or we could say that tan theta equals bb1 over gm. So to calculate this angle of list, we, can, we need to find bb1, which is effective G, gx, and we need to find our new gm. We can find those, we can calculate the um, angle of list due to bilging. So we'll look at the example given here. Our vessel's 90 metres long, 30, kg 10, even keel of 4 metres. And there's an empty midships side compartment on the starboard side which is bilged. So this is bilged here, and it's 20 metres long and 10 metres wide. We need to calculate the angle of heel after bilging. Let's look at the values that are written on here. It's a bird's eye view of the vessel. And we're looking at the, uh, the water plane. CL, this axis, is the original centre line or rolling axis of the vessel. So when the vessel wasn't bilged, CL was the centre line or rolling axis. OZ, that represents the new rolling axis after we've been bilged. And AB, represents the side axis closest to the bilge compartment. These values are important because when we're calculating inertia or second moment of area we need to calculate this value here at AB and then we need to get back using the parallel index theorem to the OZ uh, line there to work out the uh, angle of list, to help us work out the angle of list. Well. As always with building problems, we have sinkage. And sinkage is loss volume, as always, over intact water plane. And the loss volume is going to be the 20 times 10 times 4. So notice that the compartment is only um, 10 metres wide. The width of the vessel is 30, but our compartment is 10 metres wide. The intact water plane, therefore, is going to be 90 times 30 minus 20 and but only 20 by 10 so you need to do two separate values here normally in other problems we'd lose the whole breadth but not with this one we've only lost 10 meters so the intact water plane becomes 2500 so our sinkage loss volume over intact water plane 0.32 so the new mean draft is 4.32 we need that because we need to calculate the km to get the G, new GM of the vessel because don't forget that the kg doesn't change so the new kb is going to be simply half the new mean draft which is 2.16 that's straightforward we now have to find the distance that this rolling axis has moved to port the distance that it's moved from here to here Okay, and the movement is found if we treat it a bit like um, a centroid movement, a shift of g. And instead of using a weight times a distance, so when we when we're working out listing moments, we have a weight of a of a, a cargo times its distance from the centre line, which gives a listing moment. So let's have a look how we do it here. We can say that the area a here is the lost water plane area 
of the bilge compartment and A is the original water plane area of the barge and that will represent B to B1. So B to B1 on the top would be A times S which is 200 times 10. Okay. Below we'd have the original water plane area which is 90 times 30 minus the 20 times 10 which we had in this value here. So BB1 200 by 10 so that's 20 times 10 200 by the 10. Okay. Gives us 0 0.8 of a meter so that distance there is 0 0.8 of a meter. So now we need to get the new GM because that point 0.8 is used on the formula tan theta BB1 over GM. So let's get the new GM. Well, we've, we've already got the KB, so we need the new BM. And this is where inertia or second moment of area comes in. The formula for the new BM is the moment of inertia about the axis OZ. Okay. Over V, which is the volume. So, first of all, we have to find this moment of inertia here about AB. It's important that we find that first and then we can find work back to find it on OZ. So, the new moment about the axis AB is the moment of the full water plane area minus the lost water plane area. This is why we have to do this first. So in other words, IAB is large LB cubed over 12, 90 by 30, sorry, over 3. LB cubed over 3, it's LB cubed over 3 because it's the outer edge rather than LB cubed over 12 in the centre with a normal box shape. So LB cubed over 3 large LB is 90 times 30 cubed over 3 minus the small LB cubed which is 20 by 10 cubed over 3. So put that in your calculator and it works out that the moment of inertia about the AB axis is this large figure here. Okay. However we need the moment about our new rolling axis OZ and it's the theorem of parallel axis we can transfer the moment of inertia from IAB here to IOZ and it's simply IOZ is IAB which we've got minus A which is the intact water plane area times D squared and D is the distance between the axes so A of course is the intact water plane area which is 2500 and it's 15.8 the uh, distance between the axes because we worked out B to B1 was 0.8 so it's the f because this is 30 halfway is 15 there to there is 15 plus the 0.8 so that's 15.8 that's why we have 2500 times 15.8 squared therefore we've got IOZ will be the original value that we got at A B minus this by the parallel and, uh, axis theorem. So the new BM is IOZ over V. Don't forget V has got to be the original volume because the displacement hasn't changed. So the new BM is 16.6. .6. The new KM will be 16.6 .6 plus our KB off the new draft, 18.76. So the new GM will be this new KM minus our original KG because that hasn't changed so our new GM is 8.76 tan theta is BB1 over GM 0.8 over 8.76 5.2 degrees it may well be worth just looking back on the page on the parallel index theorem just to get an understanding of how inertia how it affects us at the axis AB and how our rolling axis originally at the center line has now moved because of the bilged compartments on this side. So it might be worth just referring back to that just to uh, help you understand how you calculate 
the list problem. But as always with all these building problems, we always have to work out the sinkage. Never miss that out, always get the sinkage first and then everything else follows from that.